Welcome back guys, this is Andy from Experimental Human. In this video I'm just going to show you how I spray painted uh, the heat pipes with some heat resistant matte black um, spray paint. You can get this at any sort of hardware store and um, just lay it out on some sheeting or something like that. Make sure you're in a well ventilated area and then don't spray too close and then spray up your pipes. Um, back to front, front to back. Okay, so now we've built our heat pipes and we then used our mineral water bottles to encase them and um, one of the, I guess, I don't know if it's an upgrade or not, but we're going to try it is to um, put some tape inside these bottles just halfway inside so that effectively we end up with a, a, a cylindrical reflector and um, we'll show you how to do it um, but I guess this is kind of what we're ending up with is that we've got some tape silver tape and we put it in and we've only put it in on sort of half of the side of the bottle thinking being that obviously as the sun comes in it will reflect if we're really lucky we'll f it will focus it onto the centre of the pipe and it kind of does that for a cylindrical um, reflector um, and it would be interesting to see the difference between that and parabolics and everything else right? but we're not doing parabolic we've got mineral water bottles these are water available so that's what we'll do and I'll kind of show you um, how I put these together would love your feedback as to whether or not you can and think of doing it a better way, um, etc. But yeah, I'll show you how, how I'm doing it, um, just for for reference. So, the previous video, I sort of just said we were taking our mineral water bottles, and I was going all the way around them. Um, this time around, what I found is actually easier is just to put use a stand. I have to put a, a small cup inside the bottle, and then um, it's like Jack and Ori. Um, I've taken a pair of scissors and I'm, and I'm just cutting around. I actually find this a whole lot easier to manage the bottle and the cut. So you just cut around the line all the way around and then that's an awful lot easier to control and then we, we have our bottle. Um, chuck that bit away. This is the tape. This is just some old tape that I had lying around and, and what I did was effectively I just took the end of the bottle and marked up where the bottle starts to go a bit sort of curve and you can see where the wooden tape and effectively all I'm kind of doing is basically just using again this scrap bit of wood as a bit of the template and then I'm um, just cutting the tape and now that is very definitely the easy bit. Now the bit that's um, a little bit more interesting and you might kind of go what's this bit of wood about it's just something I got lying around this is obviously self ease of tape so you have to peel it off this stuff is like super super sticky and it's an absolute nightmare to deal so what I do is I just lay it flat on the bit of the wood and then I just just hold it down at this end, right? The stuff of this stuff is if you pull this backing tape all the way, way off, it kind of curls. So I'm not pulling it all the way off, I'm just pulling it down to towards the end. And then I can pick it up and then I can peel my fingers off and I got it, I can turn it over and then I can get it inside the bottle, right? And I get it all the way up inside the bottle to the top and then I just apply pressure on one side to stick it on right then I can pull the whole thing out like that I get the tape and I put my hand up inside and I'm just going to work the tape in from the side that I seamed it up on and just push it across onto the bottle okay and then effectively that just sticks it to the inside of the bottle in the shape of the curve of the bottle that one's not too bad actually um, not too bad at all I made a had to try it a few times before that to try and get it perfected to show you guys um, and that's kind of it and then I find that actually just two runs of tape inside that and then we'll end up um, with the one we did before. Hope that makes sense. We have our four solar modules now. One is just bare copper, two have been spray painted with matte black and the fourth one has got silver backing foil so let's just see what the difference in each of them are. We'll start with the bare copper one. Okay, so we're just pushing through. It's not too bad, 40, 41. Not too bad at all. Okay, so we are at 11 o'clock in the morning in London, England. And actually I'm quite shocked. We're up to 
nearly 50 degrees on our first bare copper solar pipe. Okay, oh, just they're all going to move it, fall over. So yeah, 49 degrees. Okay, let's move on to the next one that's been painted black. See where we get to. So in theory, the black ones should run even hotter because they've been absorbing the sun a bit more. At least that's the theory. So we're still climbing. The other thing that we're just checking here is the quality control on our actual heat pipes to see whether or not we've actually managed to make them all kind of similar or whether or not we've got the water ratios and stuff inside correctly. So there we go. So this is actually what happened the other day is actually the black one is colder than the copper one. Okay, let's try the next one. Okay, so this is interesting. So this maybe tells us that the other heat pipe that we had that we painted black maybe um, didn't have the right sort of water ratio in it, so maybe we need to do this. So this is kind of more what we were expecting, as I was expecting the black painted one to actually be hotter than just the bare copper one, and that would certainly bear that out. So we're hotter, 52, and we're still going up a little bit. 53. still going. 54. Okay, so stopping at 54.3. Now the acid test, back onto the um, the one this time around. This time this, this solar pipe has been backed with um, reflective foil. So let's see if that, that makes a difference. So we're going up pretty quick jumps at the moment. Still going up, it's good. So we would expect this one to be doing better than all the other ones because we've got a reflective foil in it and we've painted it black. And by the looks of it, that few would bear out. So we're up to 55. Fifty five point two. Not too bad. So the check was worth doing. So we've got four modules, the bare copper one, forty nine degrees centigrade, are painted two painted black modules. One is a good eight degrees colder than the other, so we need to go back to module two and check that out and refill it and make sure that we've got it all um, sealed up properly. And then module four, the best performing module, no surprises there, with the silver tape, painted black, 55.2 degrees centigrade, 131 Fahrenheit. That's pretty good, but obviously it was worth doing those temperature checks. So next step, I'll link up the modules. Hope you're enjoying the videos. If you are, don't forget to subscribe, like and share. Thanks everyone.